OK, so in this video, we're going to try and evaluate these two uh, series. OK, so we're going to go with this first one. So when k is 3, we're going to get, so move up here. When k is 3, we're going to have 4 times by 2 lots of 3 take away 1, so 5. And then 3 take away 3, so 0. Then when k is 4, we're going to get 5. And we're going to get here um, 2 lots of 4 take away 1, so 7. And over here, 4 take away 3 is 1. So this column is increasing in 1s. This column is increasing in 2s. That one is increasing in 1s. And we're going up 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 more. So 6, 7, 8. That's increasing in 2s. And this one's increasing in 1s. OK, and we're going to add all of those together. So look how I'm substituting in. I'm looking at each one as a separate sequence to substitute into. So what have we got? Well, we've got 0 Okay, for this first one. We've got 5 times 7 times 1, so 35 for the second one. We've got 6 times 9 times 2, so 12 lots of 9 is 108. So that's the third one. Now we've got 7 times 11 times 3. So 3 sevens are two, uh, is 21. So 231 for that. And then 8 times 13 times 4. Well, 4 eights are 32. 32 lots of 13. 6, 9, 0, 2, 3, 6, 1, 1, 4. So 4, 1, 6. So 4, 1, 6. Add them all together. So 5 and 8 are 13. 14, 20. 12, uh, sorry, not 12. 2, 3, 6, 9. And then 4, 5, 6, 7. So 790, okay, for that one. Right, so that's the first one. I'm just going to leave it there for the moment while we have a go at the second. So number two, we've got this k x 1 to 5, k plus 1 times k, take away k minus 1 times k. OK, so when k is 1, we're going to get 2 times 1, take away 0 times 1 plus. Right, now when k is 2, we're going to get 3 times 2, take away 1 times 2. So each of these columns is going to be increasing in 1s, and we're going to need 5 of them, so 3 more. So 4, 5, 6. So we're going to have 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4. 3, 4, 5. OK? So what have we got? Well, the 0 times 1 is clearly just 0. Now here we've got a 2 times 1, and then we're taking away a 1 times 2. So they're going to cancel each other out. 3 times 2, and then take away a 2 times 3. So they'll cancel. 4 times 3, take away 3 times 4. They'll cancel as well. 5 times 4 will cancel with the 4 times 5. And so we're left with just 6 times 5, so which is 30. OK? Now, there were really two different approaches to these questions. And, you know, if you had paused the video at the start to have a go at these, perhaps you did these in a slightly different way. Um, some students with number one want to expand the brackets. OK, and think, right, if I expand the brackets and then substitute in, then uh, I get something that's easier to work with. In general, for that one, that's wrong, OK? I would not expand those brackets. It was much easier to spot the patterns of the columns in order to identify the values and then add them together. Much easier to do that. In all likelihood, something's going to go wrong at some point if I expand the brackets then try to substitute in from 3 up to 7. For number 2, I did it in this way, the long-winded way, OK, by substituting in. It's actually a lot easier 
if you expand this out, because this is the same. So from k is 1 up to 5. We, if we expand that part, we've got k squared plus k. And then we've got take away k squared. And then we've also got this take away minus k, so plus k. So the k squareds cancel, and you just get left with 2k, which is a lot easier to evaluate, because that is 2 plus, well, 2 lots of 2, so 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10. 2, 6, 12, 20, 30. OK? which is a lot easier and less likely to make mistakes than that one. So in some cases, expanding brackets can be a bad thing. And in some cases, expanding brackets can actually be a good thing. Now, there isn't a one-size-fits-all for this. And really, it's the practice that you do that makes you uh, intuitive enough to then go, right, my intuition is saying I should expand the brackets. or my intuition is saying I should leave the brackets alone and just evaluate it as it is. Okay, So don't think that there is just a silver bullet. A lot of this will just come through practice.